Hey, Dr. McGowan here. Today I'm going to talk about the SPATS adjustable gastric balloon. So this is the first fully adjustable gastric balloon for weight loss that's been approved within the U.S. It was approved by the FDA in October of 2021. And I've talked about this in depth in a different video, which you can see up here in the banner or click the link in the description below. But today I'm going to actually talk about the technical side of the balloon, how the device works, how it differs from other balloons on the market, and how we assemble the thing. We'll actually unbox a SPATS balloon and look at all of the components. So before I jump into the specifics with the SPATS 3 balloon, I want to show in comparison an Orbera balloon. This is the most common weight loss balloon worldwide, and it's non-adjustable. You can see it's com completely sealed. It's a round silicone balloon filled with saline and not adjustable. So this balloon is placed in the stomach, resides there for six months, and then is removed. So in comparison, the SPATS adjustable balloon has this fill catheter, which can be used to fill the balloon initially, but also to adjust the volume later on. So for that scenario where someone's really struggling to adjust to the balloon and, and having difficulty day after day, even week after week, we can actually remove some fluid from the balloon to decrease the size and then relieve those symptoms. Alternatively, we can actually add fluid after three or four months for someone who needs an additional boost to lose weight. So those are the theoretical advantages of an adjustable balloon. But moving on to device setup, let's go ahead and open up a SPATS balloon box and see what's within it. So this is the SPATS balloon packaging, how it comes to us. And at this point, what I'll do is go ahead and open it up and we'll see what's inside. The first thing I see is the physician instructions for use manual. For those who haven't studied, next is uh, the patient information booklet we can send home with our patient. And additionally, this is the patient's ID card, information card that will stay with them, just saying they have a SPATS balloon in their stomach. And then we see here a 50cc syringe, which is used for inflating the balloon. And then we see the other components here. This is everything else, including the balloon. And let's go ahead and open that up and have a look. All right, so we'll open this up. It's well packaged. And uh, we can see here several additional components. So a little different than an Orbera balloon. Uh, so we have here the actual balloon. So we'll look at that in a moment. So, uh, that, this is the extension tubing and a few other things. So I'm just going to set this aside and then we'll walk through all of these components. So you can see here the balloon, uh, as I mentioned. We have extension tubing. This is what connects to the balloon and also to our IV fluid bag, which will be used to fill the balloon. This is the end cap that will seal off this fill catheter once the balloon is in the stomach. It also has a little blue loop you can see, which allows us to grab the fill catheter and pull it out of the mouth to adjust later on. And the last component is something called the insertion facilitator. Uh, so this is a difference between the Orbera or non-adjustable balloons. We actually need to insert this balloon by attaching it to the tip of our scope and driving it down into the stomach. Because it's so floppy, I can't just place it right into the stomach. We actually use the scope to guide it in. So the balloon comes wrapped with these little silicone bands. When it's time to insert the balloon, we just pull these tabs and remove all of that. So then the balloon is unwrapped. It still stays tightly together. And here we see the fill catheter. You can see how stretchy it is, but when we're ready to place the balloon, we actually make sure this is nice and snug. We'll take our uh, tubing here and we'll connect one end directly to the balloon, like so. The other end has a three-way stopcock, which can allow us to connect the syringe to one port and then uh, tubing to an IV bag. So we'll use a normal saline, uh, which will then enter into the balloon. You probably noticed that the balloon appeared blue. That's because we add a small amount of methylene blue to our saline to dye the fluid. That's in the rare event there's a leak uh, of the balloon within the stomach, uh, the patient's urine would actually turn blue-green. So that would be an early indicator if there's a leak. Thankfully, that's a very rare event that we've never experienced, but it's a nice safety precaution. Then that last piece is this insertion facilitator. So I'll open this package. And so we can see here, this is just a small um, silicone wrapper. And so what will happen is if this is the scope, the balloon will stay here and we'll just roll that down to cover the balloon. So then I can drive this into the stomach and then as the balloon fills, it will pop right off. So that's just a way to facilitate um, advancing the balloon into the stomach because again, this is kind of floppy and I can't generate any force to just push it down. So you can see once we're finished with the procedure, I will disconnect this 
and connect the end cap like so. And then we just let that back into the stomach. So this has a wire loop on the end which can be grabbed endoscopically and then again pulled out of the mouth. So those are all of the components. So you can see the spat's a little bit more involved to place. There's a few more steps and that's just because of the adjustable nature. But down the line that could be of benefit because we can downsize or upsize the balloon as needed. So again, that is a theoretical advantage. We're excited to see how this balloon performs, how our patients do over time. As with all weight loss balloons, it's really not just about the balloon or the procedure. It's really about the entire program. So it's really important that you work with a nutritionist and your medical team throughout the process so you can really do your absolute best and achieve the most weight loss over time. And really, a weight loss balloon is all about changing behavior. So that balloon sitting in your stomach helps you feel full and you're changing habits over time so that once we take that balloon out, then we can just continue with those healthy habits and you can keep the weight off. So for more information on the SPATS, visit our website at trueuweightloss.com for further information on weight loss balloons as well as the full array of non-surgical endoscopic weight loss treatments.